Bye everyone. In this video, you will learn all the prerequisites that you need before you host your N810 production setup for your business. This is part 3 of our 9 part mini course on mastering N810 workflow automation setup on your AWS pre-tier. If you are new here, be sure to check out the previous videos in this playlist to get the full picture. So far, we have covered how to set up an AWS free tier account, and then we have covered how to set up MFA and AWS budget effectively before we start setting up our image. Make sure to watch from the start of the playlist to get a smoother learning experience. Click on this video to get started. All the nine parts of this mini course will be released on this YouTube channel over next nine days. I promise you will learn a lot through this mini course so make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified as soon as I release the next video to make things even easier for the course I have put together an AWS free tier setup checklist for NHN workflow automation engine that you can download from the link in the description this guide will help you follow along the course to avoid common mistake. With that said, let's get started. Make sure to install Git as a Git software in your local. And then if you are not sure how to install Git, please look out online or ask ChatGPT it will provide you the details. And then if you are on Windows system, install Git bash as well because that will give you the basic Linux bash terminal where you can run uh, your bash script that we will provide you or we might need and you can also execute some bash command that we might need so please make sure to do that and then you install vs code which is a very popular ide for any development work so please install the vs code it is not required for this setup of n8 and production but please make sure to install vs code because we might need it in future for changing the code within n8 and, and add new custom module and all this stuff and also if you are on a windows system install putty because if you need to sign into the ec2 as a terminal in the ec2 server or any other server for that matter linux server then you need putty so install putty i will attach the link also in the guide so you can just click the link and download all this stuff so please make sure you do that i already have all this set up so i'm just going to go ahead to the next step and start setting up the ec2 for the production setup if you are finding this content helpful don't forget to hit that like button so that the mini course reaches out to a lot wider audience like you and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the future videos in this series so that's it for today so now you know how to set up aws free tier account and set up all the prerequisite before we move forward and set up our n8 in the next video we will know how to spin up your first AWS EC2 instance and get a free server for the next 12 months absolutely free from AWS. And of course, if you haven't downloaded it yet, don't forget to grab your free AWS free tier in 18 setup checklist from the link in the description below. That will help make your learning experience and setup process even smoother so make sure you have subscribed and downloaded the free checklist to follow along seamlessly and thanks for watching take care and i'll see you on the next one